face that this world has forgotten. Mm, what is up, guys? And of course, welcome back to an episode of Who Was Really Better? And this time we're looking upon the poison snakes of a Pokemon being Arbok versus Viper. Now, these two actually have been quite following each other really close in the tiers, if you follow, of course, the likes of Smogon being not necessarily the most viable type of Pokemon, but they both are guarding a really, really, really broad move pool as of late, and also a few concepts with the likes, of course, Coil introducing Generation 5. So they have a small niche in the representative tier, and haven't necessarily been compared against one another. So it is up to me, of course, to compare these poison snakes against one another, see whether or not the Generation 1 snake is stronger than the Generation 3 snake, or of course the other way around. So without further ado, we're of course gonna go over their stats, abilities, and move pool, and hope of course in the end of the day to see who is really better. So first and foremost, we're gonna actually go over their type, and since the both share of course poison, so it's rather easy to go through. Poison is actually a really, really good defensive typing overall, being of course resistant to bug, fairy, fighting, grass, and poison, and all the weak to two things being of course ground and psychic. While these two typings are usually very, very, very common, one really has to take into consideration that it still is a very, very good resistance pool that, of course, poison type is as a whole really, really are doing really well. And, of course, not weak to any type of hazards and, of course, can't soak since they both are uh, stationated and stationary Pokemon uh, to actually be able to absorb toxic spikes. As a whole, poison type really, really nice does affect them somewhat, of course, because they only have one stab in mind, which of course being their own poison, but as a whole, poison type, really, really cool. So with the typing out of the way, we're of course going to look upon their stats. Now, they are similar in some way, yet not at all. Uh, we're looking upon HP on the R, but we see 60 versus 73, making Viper the definitely the better one on the HP stats. Swiper also is stronger, 100 on attack versus 85 in Arbok side, and then we come to defenses, uh, Arbok is a bit more bulky with 69 versus 60. Then again on the special attack, Arbok does only carry 65 versus 100 on Swiper, but then the special defense is what Arbok shines yet again on the defensive side being actually 79 versus 60. And of course on the speed here, Arbok is slightly, slightly, slightly speedier with 80 base speed, which is actually fairly decent considering course, what Arbok are in versus of course Swiper being 65. So it's very clear that Swiper is less bulkier less speedier but a lot more powerful while Arbok of course has a bit of a defensive capabilities in bond with it even though it has a low HP but it's definitely bond with being physical even though it is slightly speedier it can't be a possible mixed wall breaker but are forced to be the physical side but as a whole I would say Arbok stands out a little bit more here because it's more balanced and it has a proper speed here that is not easily without speed or even defensive Pokemon, so I'm saying Swiper kind of struggles with that, even though it has an excellent, excellent mixed attack stats. Now, they differ a little bit here when it comes to their abilities. While they both share Shed Skin, which is a fairly decent ability when it comes to actually getting a fair chance of losing any kind of status and bond with you, being, of course, Burn, Paralysis, and Sleep. Now, it should be said here that since you're a poison type, you can't get toxic, but of course Celestial can toxic you, so it's not completely redundant to having that in mind. But they have actually stronger abilities, we're gonna start with Swiper first, with actually getting abilities that is Infiltrator. Infiltrator is rather decent, depending on how you want to view it. It does mean that you actually hit behind a sub, so substitute is not affecting, for of course, any type of damage from Survivor. And of, should also be said that Reflect, Light Screen, or Aurora Wheel do not boost the defenses on opposing Pokemon with Infiltrator. You will hit right through that, much like Brick Break. So, it actually a fairly decent ability to Swiper, since the Owler has that really, really high attack stats overall. So, very, very dangerous ability to have with that type of Pokemon. Now, Arbok has two other abilities that test out a little bit. Unnerve, which of course means you can't use any berry as an opposing Pokemon versus Arbok, which means that you can't use uh, Citrus Berry or you can't use any damage reduction berries onto it when of course are accepted. The other ability and the one that I definitely prefer is Intimidate. Intimidate is very helpful for Arbok since it already has got a rather low bulk in general even though it is bulkier in Swiper it is still not as bulky so Intimidate really helps to really 
make sure that your leaves are not too shot necessarily by any type of Pokemon against you. So overall, I would say Arbok has a better abilities because there's more utilities involved with that. But Viper's ability can get it with of course its stats distribution really make it a top of threat to be completely honest. But as a whole, I do believe Arbok's utility does make it stand out a little bit more here. So with the three big things out of the way, one really has to start talking about the remove pool because even though, as stated, Arbok as defensive capabilities might have more to offer than Sviper has, one Pokemon is only as good as the remove pool and they do differ somewhat here in the remove pool. And as stated before, Sviper does have a more offensive attack set in general and could possibly actually take every kind of notice from that and actually become somewhat more relevant than Nambok. And this is of course my job to make sure to see if that could actually hold true. So with that out of the way, let's of course see the move pool that they do share. Now a quick rundown will show you that both Arbok and Sviper do get every snake move that is in the game. They both get access to Glare, which of course paralyzes their opposing Pokemon with 100% accuracy. It's a very useful move in general because they are naturally slower, so having Glare pretty darn good for both of them. They also get access to the likes of Coil, which is a very very good boosting move in general, boosting of course attack, defense and accuracy. This is followed up with a both get access to the likes of Sucker Punch, which is a very very strong priority move, and as stated before, due to the lack of speed, this could be extremely helpful for the both of them. And on the more offensive side, we have Poison Jab, which is clearly on the primary stabs in general, also Aqua Tail, we have Giga Drain, we have Earthquake. So as a whole, they have a lot of niche filler moves that just makes them really, really usable. But they do differ quite a lot on a few sides here. And definitely these are the moves that are defining these Pokemon in general. But they have the grounding works and the ground tool to do really well with the move pools that are getting. But as I said, they do differ somewhat. Now, first and foremost, we're really going to talk about Arbok, because Arbok has one really good important thing here that are worth mentioning. You get access to the Gunk Shot, which is one of the strongest poison moves in the game, if not the strongest. Uh, and the reason I actually enforce this is because Gunk Shot with Coil is one of the best combos in the game, and definitely get access to that and can actually be capitalized on actually hitting with that, making Arbok really, really, really interesting. Aside of that, we have Seed Bomb, uh, which is also a move that can definitely capitalize on the physical side and also Pursuit. So Arbok is very, very able to pursue trap possible Pokemon, and that could be in general really helpful. We also have Disable, we have Switcheroo when I capitalize on that, but as a whole, these are the relevant moves from Arbok. It can even actually learn, um, what do you call it, Rock Slide. Uh, like I said, if you want to capitalize on that. But as a whole, Arbok gets very, very viable spread on his physical side, which makes it fairly unique for a Poison type, and is a decent one at that, probably really underrated due to it, definitely has a really, really broad variety that does make it really helpful as a whole for a complete team. But it is nothing compared to Swiper's side. While Arbok had the edge of actually having access to Gunk Shot, Swiper has a lot more to offer and a very varied move pool at that. The major issue that the both are actually sharing, but of course they have access to likes very quick, is that they actually are kind of struggling with defensive steel types Earthquake will only solve so much for him. Sviper has a really usable special attack set, and also, of course, Giga Drain, as stated before, and can capitalize on it. And we also have the likes of Flamethrower in one with Sviper. We can definitely tackle that threat naturally. And Sludge Bomb, uh, very, very viable, and also utility move in Gunk Shot. So, as a whole, Sviper does kind of stand out as being a special threat rather naturally, and a very, very good one at that. I should also mention that they are having access to like the Switcheroo and Haze together and had a rather really strong niche before Coil was a viable option in the meta. But as a whole, this is how they're functioning. Arbok, Intimidate, Setup, Coil, great physical move pool and Sucker Punch. Swiper, especially incredible in so many areas and a very, very workable special attack set to capitalize on and can be a decent mixed attacker with, of course, Sucker Punch in mind and Knock Off to be able to of course catch possible threats that comes in but as a whole this is what they stand for and this is what they do and if i have to judge them individually and see which one i think is really better it's going to boil down to which pokemon do the most damage to most teams and i would say that even though sviper has a really really workable special attack stat and is an excellent wall breaker arbrock is the more reliable one and that's primarily the reason he wins this matchup 
there is really something special with having access to like a Seaburn, Aqua Tail, and Coil, and having Gunshot. That extra damage output and that secure extra damage output really puts Viper on the backflip before it even started. Because while Swiper is stronger, Gunshot as a whole is a lot stronger than Poison Jab could ever be. And having Coil in conjunction with that really just kind of enforce the Arbok to be the superior one. With that said though, Sviper is an excellent special attacker and a very very viable one at that if you can pass that speed which definitely is holding Sviper back. I do believe had his speed been higher, Arbok might actually have a run for this one but Arbok since it is faster and more competent with a better ability and coil and a broader mood pool that is more relevant, yeah it's an easy victory for Arbok and this shouldn't even be debatable. Arbok is very 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 competent and probably really underrated in my honest opinion. Poison type as a whole does have a steep competition since of course like the Weezing still is option or viewed as a rather lower tier Pokemon but having the excellent defensive capabilities to do really well Arbok does not represent that it is a coil possible sweeper and as I stated a very competent one at that and it should definitely be capitalized on. It is definitely a viable option for most team and quite frankly it is not as bad as I thought it were after going over what it actually is able to do so it is very easy for me to say an Arbok is really better. So of course with that said guys, what do you guys think? Which of these Pokemon do you think is really better? I really want to hear your thoughts. Uh, have you used the word Sviper in a different way? Also do share that. I do believe Sviper is very underrated as a Pokemon as a whole because it has strong niches and with Seamus in mind could be very threatening, I'm sure. I really want to see you guys try that out. So with that out of the way, make sure to post watch next week's episode where we're gonna look at the two of the most epic psychic steel types that are around. Enjoy.